Hi there, I'm Brian Taylor, owner of Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida. Today I want to take you on a tour of this 2018 Keystone Alpine fifth wheel. It is in almost like new condition. And let's go ahead and start that tour on the inside. Okay, let's go ahead and start our tour of this uh, fifth wheel here on the inside. This is a pre-owned 2018 Keystone Alpine. It's the 3651 RL floor plan. That floor plan is 39 foot 4 inches long overall outside dimensions. The empty weight is just a little bit over 12,000 pounds and it has three slide outs. This one is in fantastic condition, but as we go through, if I see any flaws or wear and tear, I'm going to point it out. Uh, I'm also going to show you around the floor plan, show you how it's laid out, and point out some of the features as we go so that you can do real shopping in the comfort of your home. And no matter what distance you're coming to look at the trailer, you'll know exactly what you're going to see when you get here. I'm going to start back here at the back in the lounge area. That's what the RL stands for in the floor plan is rear lounge. We've got a very large sofa right here. Uh, it is a tri-fold sleeper sofa, so that folds out and makes a very nice flat sleeping uh, arrangement. A lot better than your old hide-a-beds, which have that bar that seems to hit right in the worst part of your back. Uh, we also have theater seating over here. Both of these are uh, recliners. And not only do they recline, uh, they have massage and heat built into them. Uh, you've got little controls right here on the cup holders. All of the um, fabric, the, the, uh, the leather on these look to be in excellent shape. There's no peeling or any gouges or wear and tear at all. They look virtually brand new. They face over to the entertainment system, which has got a very large Furion flat screen television. Uh, this uh, Furion makes uh, RV specific televisions. This has vibration uh, resistance and heat resistance and it's made just for RVs so should hold up longer. Uh, it's got the Furion stereo system with the DVD player built in um, right below that. And what's really cool is when you have the Furion system here and a television, they talk to each other. So if you pop a DVD in here, it's going to go right over to DVD on the television. It's very easy to get uh, that pic uh, picture going and get a movie going. Uh, we've got the speakers right here on the front. And then we've got an electric fury and fireplace below. Right now I've got it set on blue, but you can go red, you can go yellow, you can just go to different colors and kind of do whatever kind of look you want. You can use it as a night light, sort of in the, the mode it is right now, but it also does have an electric heater in it, so you can heat up the area quite nicely on cold days. Up here we have massively deep storage up in here, which are really nice. All of these window treatments are really nice and high-end looking. This is a wood cornice up here with a very tasteful design on the fabrics. They've also got MCD roller shades, which are really nice, uh, and they're day-night shades. You've got a light filtering side and a complete room darkening side. Uh, we've got a vinyl floor um, down here, and it looks like tile. I mean, it, it really is high, and they've come so far with vinyl floors now. They are really just about make the most sense of just about any type of floor you can put in an RV. They're super durable. They look sharp. They hold up well. They, I mean, there's not, not really a downside to them. Uh, seems to be what we see in the vast majority of RVs. We have a really big center island for the kitchen here. Uh, this is a, a solid surface countertop uh, with sink covers right here. And one thing I just want the cameraman to do is just take a peek right down here in the sink. This is normally an area where even with light use, you're going to see some little scratches and stuff like that. But this thing has no scratches or anything. It almost looks like it's never been used. Uh, it's that lightly used in this trailer. It, for all intents and purposes, it's, it's almost like brand new condition. Uh, it really, really is nice. We've got a bank of four drawers over here, as well as a pull-out waste basket here. You've even got two of them, one for trash, one for recycling. And we've got more cabinet three there. Coming over to this area, we've got 
an area right in here which would be good for small appliances because you've got that solid surface countertop material in there and an electrical outlet. So great way to keep your coffee maker hidden or maybe a toaster oven or something like that. You're going to be able to hide it away in there so it's not sitting out on the counter. We've got a really nice drawer right here with separators in here for, I don't know exactly what you put in there, maybe pot, uh, some sort of like skillets or maybe even plates, something like that. Uh, I'm sure there's a specific purpose for that I'm just not aware of, but the cabinetry is just beautiful condition, very well put together. Um, with more storage down beneath there. You can see we've kind of got like a, a walnut finish, I believe, on the cabinetry. Uh, really, really beautiful, in great condition. Another Furion um, microwave convection oven here. Pretty much all of the appliances are Furion in this, with I think the exception of the refrigerator. This is a convection microwave, so it's going to be able to bake and microwave. As you see, you've got the stainless steel interior, and that uh, will heat up just like an electric oven, and it's really easier to cook in than the gas ones. But we do have a gas oven in this as well. Again, it's a Furion model, and this is a highly upgraded uh, RV um, oven. You've got your burner down here and uh, you got a nice big area up here. Quite a bit bigger area than you have in most RV ovens. And then you've got your cooktop which I, I mean it looks like a commercial grade cooktop or or a high-end residential cooktop. Really really nice. They've got these heavy cast iron grates on them. I just really like the Furion appliances. They are just a nice big step up over the ordinary uh, stuff that you used to see. More cabinetry here, a bank of four drawers right here, and I love this feature up here. We've got some storage here, and you've got this vent cover right here, which is decorative. It's got a copper look up here, a hammered copper with wood on the front, but you can lift this up and you've got cabinetry up here and you've got your standard uh, vent hood right there. So that's really neat. This is uh, real, uh, looks like real uh, tile back here. I believe that it's, it's real ceramic with grout and everything. It, it, it's definitely hard. Uh, I think it may be a sheet that's pre-assembled and, and put up there, but it's definitely not fake uh, stuff. More solid surface counters here. And then we come back to our residential refrigerator, and I failed to take the lock off right here for when you're traveling. But you can see just how big of a refrigerator we have there. Uh, it's the French door style with the pull-out uh, freezer down below. And all of this is in fantastic shape. There's not a scratch, not a dent, nothing on this refrigerator. Looks brand spanking new. Up above this island, I forgot to point out that we do have this really nice nickel finish um, lighting fixture up here. And I don't want to forget our um, dinette. We've got a dinette with a leaf that pulls out right there. I think i got to undo something underneath to do that. I'll forego that right now. Um, but that will pull out and, and make a larger, uh, a larger table. Right here we have a cabinet that's pre-plumbed for a washer and a dryer. Now right now this is just a washer that's in here. It would be super easy if you want a dryer to go ahead and put a stackable unit in here. Um, but this is just a washer for the time being. Got a nice little uh, lighted feature up here that's decorative. And then we've got more cabinetry. I mean, they've made use of every little nook and cranny on this. More cabinetry here. We've got a central vac and our this is our fuses and our breaker panel down here. And then what I really like about this is you've got your Pro Plus um, uh, control system here. It's a computerized system, and I put the wrong password in there. But you control your interior lights, your water heater, your water pump. Uh, all of You can do all of your gauges, monitor your tanks and stuff like that, all from this touch screen right here really really slick and it, it works great. Uh, I've had no trouble at all. The learning curve is very simple on it. It's not intimidating whatsoever. We've got some more uh, controls right here for holding tank heaters and stuff like that. And then we come up the steps right here. We've got a nice railing um, that is both decorative and useful. And we come up here into the master suite right here 
and the bathroom right here. So I'll step into the master suite and we've got an entryway on this side and the hallway for the, um, for the, bas the bathroom. In here, we've got a really nice walk-in shower. You've got a seat here in the corner, really nice nickel finish hardware on the shower, glass enclosure, of course, and then we've got a nice big vanity. We've got a more cabinetry here, a mirror, a bank of four drawers, and a cabinet. Uh, again, nickel finish hardware on that. Over here on our toilet, we of course have a porcelain toilet, not, a, not an inexpensive plastic toilet. The porcelain is just a lot easier to keep clean. It is a foot flush toilet. Uh, we've got our vinyl flooring that continues up into the bathroom. And then when we come into the bedroom, we actually have carpet. And we have a king bed. So uh, we've got a really nice king bed right here with a padded headboard. Right here, we've got a nice big hanging uh, closet. And then we've got a, a good place right here with some storage and bank of three drawers with a, a mirror right here that would be great for putting makeup on and stuff like that. More hanging storage here. And we've got our two folding chairs for the dinette. So uh, you do have seating for four. This is cedar lined also on the backs. And then we have another television up here uh, that looks like about a 32 inch television up here in the bedroom. And we have a nice chest of drawers right here with three drawers and a side cabinet. And then we have a nice window seat over here, which would be a great place when you're getting dressed, putting on shoes, stuff like that. And we have a sliding door for privacy in the bathroom. Uh, everything in here is in fantastic condition. The carpet shows minimal if anywhere. Uh, the same with the walls and the ceilings. One feature that I really like is that the air conditioners are completely hidden. There's none of the lower section of the two air conditioners do not protrude into the coach. Um, the only other setup that I've seen this on, and I'm, I'm sure there's others, but is Numar Motorhomes. They've done this same sort of setup for years where you've got the whole of the uh, air conditioner uh, away from the interior. It results in a super duper quiet air conditioner. You've got returns that are on both sides of the trailer going back and then your vents are down the middle. So it's a really nice setup up super uh, quiet feels more residential because it is so quiet and it's just really really well laid out um, so that's pretty much the inside of the trailer let's go ahead and continue the tour on the outside Okay, we're going to continue our tour here on the outside of this fifth wheel. Uh, again, to refresh your memory, it's a 2018 Keystone Alpine. It's the 3651 RL floor plan, three slide outs, about 39 feet long and about 12,000 pounds empty. Um, right here, we got our sewer dumps. You can see we've got a jack right here. This uh, has our six point uh, level up levelers on it. I'll talk more about that in just a second. Right here, we've got our wet bay. Uh, we've got um, uh, our water hookups and stuff like that in here and black tank valves and all of that. Right here, we've got a smaller hatch into our big storage area. I'm gonna show you more of that when we come around the other side because it's a better view. Right here, we've got our two 30-pound LP gas tanks. You can see everything looks brand new. This is all open to the, to the ground. Uh, by law, you have to have these propane tanks open so that if there's a leak, it vents out uh, into the air. And uh, sometimes you'll see rust and dirty stuff up in here, but this one's in beautiful condition. Right here is that LCI electronic leveling. It's a hydraulic leveling system. All you got to do is when you're unhitched is you touch a button and it's going to automatically level with six jacks around the trailer. And then what's really nice is when it's time to hitch back up, you press another couple of buttons. It's going to remember the height that you were at. It's going to return it to that particular height so you can just back your truck right up under it. And it makes it a little bit easier when you are uh, hitching up. Uh, this is the one slide over here, another slide for the bedroom. 
Uh, we have a, the third slide on the other side, and then we've got our big molded front cap up here. All of this is in really, really great condition. It's dark brown with cream. Um, we got our hitch up here. We do have storage in this area. Right in here is storage. We got our battery box, a battery disconnect, our inverter. We do have an inverter so that you can run that refrigerator off the battery when you are not hooked up to electricity. So that's a nice feature to have. Right here we have another battery cutoff, our hydraulics for the leveling system, and another battery. And then right here is the larger door. Uh, it's got magnet latches up above, uh, so it holds that up for you. And we've got some mats and accessories that come. These are like leveling blocks that come with the trailer. We've got a tripod that goes on the front kingpin so that uh, it will help stabilize the trailer even more. We've got our hookups for our central vac. And we also have the control panel for the in-command system, which was that touchscreen panel on the inside. These are a slam shut design, so you literally just let them slam shut, and that's how those operate. We've got our frameless windows on this model, which is a nicer window than the standard style. It helps keep your, your rubber trims a little bit more protected from the elements, and it just really looks sharp as well. Um, we've got the solid steps, the Lippard solid steps for the entryway. They are hydraulic assisted. You just lift this up and it folds into the doorway when the door is open so that there's, uh, these are not exposed to the elements when you're driving. So if you're going through rain, snow, mud, whatever, these are going to stay nice and clean inside the trailer. And uh, we've got our, our grab handle there, and we have a nice big patio awning that extends from right here all the way up to the front cap. So very large patio area. And what's nice is that our slide out does not intrude into that patio area. So uh, that's what I, I really like. We've also got aluminum wheels down here. And that's pretty much the outside. Um, I'm not going to go around back. We're out by the road, and it's a little bit noisy out there, but it's in just as nice a shape. All these finishes are beautiful, super glossy. There's no, uh, no fading or anything like that on graphics or anything. It is just about as nice as a pre-owned RV can get. You save a pile of money over buying brand new and uh, actually if you were to add an extended service plan to it in my opinion they're even easier to work with than the factory warranties there's very little downside to buying such a late model pre-owned rv sometimes you got the little uh, brand new bugs worked out uh, by that point this one's been a really great trailer for the owners and uh, we're happy to be selling it so if you would like more information on it please give us a call at highway rv our number is 863-956-1036 um, you can also connect with us on YouTube if you like this video and you'd like to see more about it or you'd like to know when we get new inventory, click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you're going to get a notification every time we've posted a new video. We try to put our inventory up online and again we, we post the good, the bad and the ugly. If something's pre-owned, we're going to point out not only the high points but the flaws so that you can do real shopping that's the whole point of these videos not to be flashy but to give you real information to help you make a decision and whether or not it's you, 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 that might be the right rv for you so um again i hope this video has been helpful to you in making a buying decision uh if you'd like more information give us a call you have a great day and god bless Thank you.